So hi everyone. Uh, so I'm here to talk about the different uh, integrations we provide at Ledger. Um, so many of you maybe uh, don't know, but most of uh, our integrations are uh, open source and doable by, uh, let's say, external partners or developers. Uh, so I'm here to talk more about it and uh, do a quick uh, description of uh, each, let's say, each type of integration we provide. So during this presentation, uh, I will do a tour of the different integrations pathway we have uh, and you can have with Ledger, uh, why you should do it and uh, how to get started. So let's begin with the different integrations pathway uh, with Ledger. We have the different integration we have and we provide. Um, let's say there is a different layer of integrations. Um, let's begin with the first one, the embedded app integrations. Let's say it's, it's the first layer. Uh, these embedded app are, are built on top of, um, of the basic firmware layer on the Ledger hardware device. And basically, the embedded apps uh, allows uh, the users of these hardware wallets to handle the different protocols of the concerned blockchain. And this is uh, doable by, let's say, any of you. Uh, you can build your own embedded app. And even if it's not submitted, you can also sideload it on your uh, Ledger hardware device and play with it. Uh, so. You can build it and uh, play with it when, whenever you want. I will uh, show you later on where you can find them. Uh, second, uh, let's say the second layer of integration. Let's dive to the blockchain support. We will go back to the connect your app uh, section. Let's say we have, so as, as, I, as I said, we have the embedded app layer. On top of it, you have the blockchain integration layer that comes directly after. Why? Because um, to do a blockchain integration, you need uh, the embedded app first. And what is a blockchain integration? What what is the goal of a blockchain integration? It's to allow to allow uh, users, the ledger hardware wallet users, to uh, manage their tokens and coins directly through the companion app uh, Ledger Live uh, we have. And same thing as the embedded app. You can integrate it, submit it, and if it's validated, uh, it will be working directly uh, through our companion app. Other uh, layer of integrations, uh, the live apps. So what is uh, a live app? Uh, it's basically, uh, an, uh, it could be a DAP or a non-DAP. So it's an app directly embedded uh, on Ledger Live, our companion app. Uh, it's no, it works with what we say a plugin, what we call a plugin. So what is a plugin? It's kind of embedded app, but it's, uh, it's let's say, lighter and mainly here to provide uh, security through clear signing, uh, to allow users to clear sign, so to know what they are uh, signing directly on their device. And same thing, the, uh, the plugin, you can build it by your own and submit it with, with the, the app you would like to be integrated. So I talked about uh, these three uh, integrations. Uh, they could be, uh, they could take time. Uh, maybe you're, you're only one developer, you're looking for something fast to do, something that could be quicker. Uh, there is a last, uh, let's say, layer of integration. We call it connect your app. Uh, so what is Connect Your App? It's basically let, let's say if you have an application, a DAP, it lets you connect this DAP directly to uh, Ledger hardware wallets. It works through the different uh, connectivity capabilities of the Ledger hardware device. Um, so you can choose USB or Bluetooth or, or both. Uh, and for wide type of applications, uh, it could be web, web application, desktop uh, application, and mobile application. Uh, and depending on which uh, application you, you, you're working on, uh, you will have to choose. And this is a really fast forward uh, straightforward, maybe, um, integration as it, it's really fast. It's just, let's say, a matter of library you have to integrate. 
uh, and uh, it's uh, really it's faster than the others. So you may want to begin with this and see the others uh, if you're interested. So I did a tour of the different integrations. So why you should do it? So depend depending on uh, on which uh, purpose you, you work on, with uh, which type of actor you are, blockchain foundation, service, or and apps. Uh, if you work for an NFT collection, for example, or a software wallet, you might need different interests uh, on the different integrations I specified earlier. Um, so let's take uh, the different type of actors, let's say, and see quickly uh, what uh, type of interest, which type of interest you can find by finding your own path. So for example, if you do an embedded app integration, you will satisfy, for example, your community, increase security, uh, secure treasury funds, for example. On the blockchain support side, you can you, you will be able to bring chain awareness uh, to your blockchain, for example, uh, and allow also multiple wallet possibilities to users. So they will be able to choose the wallet they feel comfortable with. And for the live app support, let's say, so as I said, uh, so you have the embedded app, let's say, first layer, the blockchain integration that comes on top of it, second layer. But to do the live app integration, you will need the blockchain to be integrated first. So when you do one, it opens, let's say, doors to, to other possibilities. Um, I, I talked about the connector app integration as it were, it's really fast and you can address the ledger hardware user base to your service order uh, really quickly. So it's, uh, let's say the return on, on, on investment is, uh, is let's say it's really good uh, if, you, if you work on it. Um, what else we can have? So as I said, for the, for the, for the, on the wallet side, um, you will, let users be uh, be able to easily connect uh, with their device to your wallet and provide different wallet possibilities. And uh, let's talk about NFTs. Um, for NFTs, for example, um, either you will um, let the Ledger hardware user base be able to directly watch their NFTs on your platform with, the, let's say, the connector app uh, option, or you can let them be able to watch directly their NFTs on their Ledger Life portfolio and accounts on the company app directly. So depending on the, the goal you're looking for, you will find different uh, possibilities and opportunities for you and both for Ledger and for, uh, for you, depending on what you're, you're working on. So how to get started? Let's get back to the different layer of integration I described earlier. Let's begin with the first one, the embedded app integration. Um, as I said, it's open source. So if you go to our Ledger HQ repo, you will find all the embedded app that are already uh, in place uh, and, and embedded apps we, we support. Uh, all the code of this app are open source. You can clone it play with it, do your own embedded app. If you want to submit it, then uh, we'll, it will take a little time for us to uh, review it, and verify it, and, and, and give our final say. Or you can have your own, own embedded app, uh, side load it on a Ledger Nano S or Nano S Plus directly, and you will have your own app, uh, and you, you can play with it. it you, you don't need necessarily the final uh, validation, but it will be uh, on your own risk. But it's just to say that it's really open and you can play as, uh, as you want, let's say like that. For the connect your app uh, integration, um, as I said, it's really fast. It's just a matter of uh, choosing the right transport library uh, and the Ledger GS transport library you have. If needed, you can uh, you can need to um, you could need 
to add uh, different uh, Ledger JS dedica dedicated apps library. And for some, you will have to choose the right API and implement it into your app to be able to uh, interact directly with the embedded app on the Ledger hardware device. Uh, for the blockchain integration, same thing. Uh, all the blockchain that we support are on our, on our repo. Uh, you can have a look at it, clone it if you want, uh, play with it, or do your own, code it and test it, and then submit it, uh, submit your own blockchain integration on our repo. And as I said, um, this layer comes after the embedded app, so you have to get at least your embedded app already developed developed to begin the blockchain integration. And the final one, the live app integration. So this one, you you might need to have uh, at least an app to integrate, but on top of it, you will need to do the, uh, the to develop the plugin uh, to let the users be able to clear sign directly uh, and let Ledger users use your service or DAP uh, directly on our companion app, uh, Ledger Live. So that's what, that was the main uh, description and uh, I wanted to do uh, regarding the different um, integrations uh, we provide. Um, so we want to promote that our platform is open, that you can do all the different integrations I just described. You can do it. Of course, it's open, but we have the final say as we validate the PR. Uh, because we want to prioritize uh, our customer satisfaction and maintain, let's say, a degree of control and verification uh, on uh, what is uh, what is done on, uh, on 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 our products. So this is why we have this final say. But we welcome everyone to contribute to our Ledger HQ uh, repo. And our goal, as I said, is to enhance our platform, let it open the more open we can and then ensure that all the tools we provide are effective. Uh, and as I said, all these integrations are doable by, by you, by you developers or external partners. So if you want to become a premium developer partner, please feel free to reach out to us. And I would like also to to share with you some useful resources. Uh, the first one, the developer, we call it developer portal, uh, on developers.ledger.com, you will find uh, on this uh, on this platform all the needed tools to do the different integrations I specified and I described earlier. So all of the all of the docs and tutorials are, are here. You will find them uh, here. Second thing, we have a Discord server, uh, our Ledger Discord server. You can, uh, if you are, let's say, on uh, doing a, an uh, integration uh, with something related to, to Ledger, you can feel free to go, come on this uh, server and ask any questions. We will find someone from Ledger that will answer to you. Uh, some developer integration journeys you can find on our blog also on blog.ledger.com. And the final thing, the most important, our repo, you can find it on GitHub at on Ledger HQ. Uh, and I think that was mainly it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, so I forgot to uh, present myself at the beginning, but I'm Akram working at Ledger as a developer support engineer. Uh, so I'm mainly here to uh, to help you guys uh, develop on top of, uh, of Ledger. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me or on, this, on our Discord server uh, and ask uh, the questions uh, you need. Thank you very much.